today's session is Paragon and Paragon enables the catalog designer to build a new project database and maintain the supplied Aviva catalog. This basically involves uh, the creation and modification of piping components and updating the associated specification. Okay, so to log in Paragon, you have to so that is your Paragon module. Paragon uses a CATA type of database. We need to have a catalog database for working in Paragon. Now the top level of hierarchy in Pat Paragon is catalog world. Under the catalog, top level of hierarchy for a catalog is CATA. Now the members of catalog are basically sections. Sections are for the convenience of users and generally it is accepted that different generic types are contained in separate sections. Like we have one section for every generic type. Generic type as in for elbow, for flange, for valve and for you know different type of fittings. Now section owns the catalog owns the section, section owns the category which would in turn own specific type within the same generic type like we can have further subdivisions into you know valves like 90 degree in elbows like 90 degree elbow 45 degree elbow or type of flange like well neck slip on so that will be categorized into categories so catalog then section section is a generic type and then the category category is basically the sub generic type or subdivision into the generic type now under the sec category we have few default elements which gets created once you create a category and those type of elements are SCOMs. SCOMs are basically contains the parameters of specific component and reference the 3D geometry. This basically SCOM. SCOM is the 3D component that you see in the design or in the catalog graphic view. This is basically a parametric component wherein we need to parameterize the dimensions so that we need not to you know create we need not to uh, create basically this saves our rework. I'll show you once we start creating a catalog like how we parameterize the component then there are point sets point sets basically defines the access system point set is this this is point set this defines the access system like you might know there are p points in the components so that p points are defined using these point sets then we have the geometry set geometry set is this element then geometry set is geometry set basically contains number of primitives which together describes the physical appearance of a component like a component can be created using different uh, primitives so all those primitives are created under these geometry sets and these geometry sets and point sets are related we will see how then there is another hierarchy called SDTE this SDTE is a text string which contains the component description and the isometric S key. Then we have data set. Data set contains a number of data element describing the component parameters and this can be used to parameterize the component in design. Like I want to give designer some access to change the dimension of any component. Then that access can be provided by using data sets. So let's start creating a catalog hierarchy. Create a catalog. Just give it a name. Training dot cata. This purpose should be pipe and press open. Now underneath the cata element we have to create sections. So go to create section and right here like elbow. This is one generic type. 
okay papa should be pipe press okay then under this section elbow which is a g type we have to create different categories and uh, just go to create category this category can be a 90 degree elbow or a 45 degree elbow or any other type like socket weld butt welded so based on that we have to create different sections under one category so we'll just give it a short code all right so we will be creating a 90 degree butt welded long radius elbow so once you create a category those four elements which we just saw gets created automatically okay see the point set geometry set scom and sdt see this is given noted all the items the, which we have seen before are created automatically with a category we have the sdt we have the point set we have the geometry set then we have data set and there is a text element also this text element is for one parameter basically we have to define different parameters for completely defining a component that we will see so for defining a elbow like before creating any component you have to decide the parameters required to define that component and the p points for that component and the 3d geometry so in case of an elbow that will be like if i show you like for creating a elbow what all parameters we need to define are basically from center the center to face distance on both the sides and the radius of the elbow these are three parameters which are required for completely defining an elbow if it's a butt welded elbow the nominal bore is always the parameter 1 one should not change this now to and how to create new parameters is you have to key in the parameter name here like the outside dia and click new next parameter should be connection type new another pattern you have to go back to the elbow pattern you have to put all the parameters in the different parameters so yes yes you have to put all the different parameters for each component type once like for a butt welded elbow i have for all the sizes i have to key in these values once for a 45 degree elbow all the sizes i have to key in these values once for a type of valve for any any component of same sub generic type all the sizes you have to create you know all the parameters once okay okay